Trader, Trade Trader, Cobb Crypto Podcast. Podcast. This is the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Get everybody and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show here in New York. It was a hot, hot day and it was full on. I've gone through and had a number of great interviews with some amazing guests, which we'll be loading up over the next couple of weeks, but also putting out the best content that we can from each day, every single day that I am here. So make sure you go to tradercob.com, go to What's Hot, go down there, obviously you know how to follow the podcast and subscribe, but there's also the video content there as well. Don't forget to jump in and log into the bi-weekly video newsletter there so you get more and more information from us and me. Me. So, what was today? Today was well officially the first day of the major consensus event, and uh, it was wild. Lots and lots of people there. I didn't actually go inside of the event because I had so many people to interview. We actually did the interviews in Central Park today because it was so goddamn jammed in the actual arena or the uh, the venue, whatever you want to call it, at the Hilton. I saw some amazing colored suits. I saw some strange human beings. I saw a guy laying on the pavement out the front of the Hilton with a sign that said, Nem owes me $4.5 million. And I thought to myself, who cares? Get up and get on with your life. But anyway, that's just me. What happened in the markets recently? Well, a lot actually. Um, we saw a big fall to start off with uh, yesterday afternoon, I think it was, uh, in Australia. Uh, and then we seen it gather a bit of momentum back. Um, as we stand right now, I'm just trying to reload the chart that I've got there, but things have been a little bit less exciting across the marketplace. If I just have a look quickly now and uh, take you through the Bitcoin chart, we're up today. Uh, and you can see it on the daily, you know, we've got some pretty big spikes there. Again, it comes back to the uh, the voice that I had yesterday of it's not really showing me that much direction. It's not really that entertaining. I mean, if I'm looking at the four hour here at a certain time, as we broke up, we then had a, a fairly decent set of wave of selling from a high of sort of what would, what would we get to uh, 87.60 uh, to a low of uh, was that 82.70. So a, a decent a decent sell off. It happened pretty quick too. It wasn't um, it wasn't something that was gradual. It was sort of one one candle took the majority out of it. But then the strange thing was again early today, earlier in the day, first thing in the morning, we saw Bitcoin shoot back up again. Now, the fact of the matter is, is that there is a big event going on and there is a lot of speculation around uh, what will occur uh, in the market for this event, mainly because last year it was the beginning of a major move. And as we've seen, if you've seen any of the polls that are out there in the general public, it appears that many people believe that uh, 76% of the poll that I saw will believe that will believe that uh, consensus was going to be the catalyst for a, another big move. Now, again, that comes back to what I was saying uh, yesterday in yesterday's podcast about the fact that a lot of people are talking very, very bullish sentiments. Now, I, I, I agree for the market as a whole. Uh, I've never been more bullish about anything in my life as I am in the crypto space, but I'm also very invested in it, both financially and emotionally. As you guys know, I've put a lot of money into this, a lot of time into this, and uh, my business relies on it being successful. None of the guests I've had are flinching at all about any price movements. And what's really cool, more so when the microphone gets turned off and the show sort of winds down, I get to ask some, some uh, have some good conversations with people. Not, not so much ask different questions because you know I'll ask anything on the show, but more so you get to sort of go down a little bit more of a rabbit hole on certain things. Now, on many of the on the shows and the interviews that I've got, you'll hear people that are sort of saying they're not too interested about the the fluctuation of price movements as it stands for the space. I'm talking more about a, a you know having an understanding for uh, you know the space as a whole and i've not met anybody not surprisingly to be honest because these are people that are in the space that um that are not bullish medium and long term the short term will do what the short term does because it's speculation uh, in the price and in the markets but long term it's looking really really good something else breaking is uh, the commonwealth bank chief operating oh, sorry the, i think it was a cfo the chief financial officer has left to move across to a big crypto organization as well based out of hong kong now he was only in the job for 12 months jumped ship to move across to uh, this particular project 
And uh, that is very, very positive. Two reasons. One, again, it's showing uh, mainstream uh, business coming across. It's showing that some very, very interesting, intelligent, and very well-paid executives in the traditional banking world are now moving across into the crypto space. So it's quite an interesting time for the space. As we all know, you guys have been here for a while you're as bullish as I am, and uh, it's it's certainly starting to get, well, not starting, it is certainly very, very interesting. So guys, another bit of random information that doesn't really mean anything. There's a movie being shot outside of my apartment tonight. I hope they're quiet because I am absolutely shagged. Guys, don't forget to be careful in these markets. They are volatile. We do have a consensus Um upon us right now and there does seem to be volatility that is a little bit skittish take your time manage your risk be very very measured and make sure you're plugged into all the interviews all the shows and all the content by going to tradercob.com and finding out more about how you can get plugged in by the what's hot tab guys have a fantastic day I'm going to put my feet up, go back through and do my content for my members today. It'll be interesting to see what we come up with with the top 100 scan because I'm pretty keen to see how the rest of the market has reacted to what's gone on today. I've been out of the markets all day because I've been in the world of blockchain and uh, talking and interviewing a number of great people. I think I've got a sunburnt head, which is very interesting. It was a beautiful day. I love New York. I love blockchain. I love bringing you guys amazing content. Guys, have a fantastic day. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Check out tradercobb.com because experience matters.